Hello guys, it's uh, it's very early. It's half past five in the morning and I am spontaneously going to Monaco today. I booked the flight last night and I'm going back there so I thought I'd just vlog. Ooh, I thought I'd just vlog, we're gonna take the Alpine to the airport and then we may or may not see some cool cars. I'm gonna wake up because I'm exhausted. Okay, got my bag ready. <laughs> okay, we got the cap on, I'm not gonna lie to you, we're a little bit behind schedule, so we're gonna have to hurry up a little bit in the car, and I need to fill it up. It's always weird, like, leaving this early in the morning, and it's still completely pitch black. Especially when it starts to get a little warmer in winter, it feels more acceptable. Anyways, here's the car. It's ready to go. You may be wondering why I'm taking this and not the Kia. I'll tell you in the car. The suitcase is in, the question is, will it close? Yes, good lad. Right, little cold start now. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure I'm gonna make this flight. <laughs> like, we are pretty late right now. Uh, but I'm in the Alpine, obviously, and I am in full, full normal comfort mode, which I'll use to just cruise. The reason I'm in this car and not the Kia is because I do not have the Kia at the moment. I'm not sure if I'll get it back. I honestly don't know. Basically what happened is, way months ago, you guys maybe noticed, um, there was a little scratch on the car because I'd parked it up in the street and when I came back someone had um, side sweep swept the car, I guess. Um, tiny little scratch, tiny little thing. So before I left to America, they were like, hey, how about we take the car to um, buff out the scratch? I was like, yeah, no problem. But since we haven't renegotiated a contract where I get the loan of the car and things like that. So I have no idea if I'm gonna get the Kia back or not. So for now, I am literally daily driving my Renault Alpine A110 Premier Edition. So that's why we're taking it to the airport right now. The next problem we currently have is that the airport is 40 miles away and I currently have a 51 mile range. Obviously I'm driving in a bit of a speedy fashion to get there in time. So hopefully, I'm not gonna run out of fuel on my way there. Because so that would then mean goodbye flight. Currently, I am arriving at the car park, not even the airport, the car park, which is a 10 minute walk from the airport, 45 minutes before my flight leaves. Clear. I think I'm just gonna cue some music, guys, um, and meet up with you back at the airport, because I need to just focus on getting there, not getting lost and not running out of petrol. Let me put my sunglasses on because we have now made it to Monaco and look at this behind me. That is the Twizy. Now if you guys are long term subscribers you'll know that I have this Twizy which is still here in Monaco which stays at my parents house. If you are not a long term subscriber why don't you hit that subscribe button and join us on the many adventures. I'm about to be joined by a friend and we are going to film with his brand new daily, excuse me, daily driver. Here he is, look at this beauty. Rolls Royce Wraith. Right, you guys know this this face, very familiar face right here. Donze 93. Are you still making YouTube videos? Uh, no. No, but Only Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Instagram, if you're Italian specifically, he's big in Italy. But you have this new daily driver, Rolls Royce Wraith, which is beautiful. And I'm interested as like what it's like to drive a Rolls Royce as a daily driver. So we'll talk about that in the car, but first of all, Talk me through like the spec of this Wraith because it looks yeah, it's awesome. Uh, two tone color. That, yeah. Uh, we have gray, silver gray, and black. Uh huh. And um, with the what do you say, like brown? Yeah, it's like a brown, brown sort of creamy tan yeah, interior. interior. Really nice. With, uh, wood, uh, dark brown wood. Oh yeah, I hadn't even seen that. Is it's like and, dark uh, brown wood? Yeah, also with black. Yeah. It's super nice. And you've got the chrome wheels. Yeah, chrome wheels. There's an option also. That's an option. The black calipers as uh, well. That's an option. The, the rims is an option. Yeah. Uh, this one, the same color of the of the car is an option also. Oh, wow. The okay. The two-tone is an option. Yeah. Uh, interior like that. The stars. Yeah, the starlight is awesome. Is an option. Look at the that. Wood, uh, because you can choose the wood that you want inside. Okay. Because um, Rolls-Royce, you can configure it. 
Everything. Everything. Yeah, that's the crazy thing about yeah. them. And what what year is this? It's brand new, right? Yeah, brand new, brand new. Uh, wow. It's, uh, I have this car from five days. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay, brand, yeah. Brand so it's new. like brand, brand new. Uh, 170 kilometers on the <gasps> Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So this is very, very new. It looks so nice. The beauty with Rolls Royce is the simplicity, yeah. how simple it is. Makes it awesome. But it go very fast. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 6.7 liters V12. Yeah. Uh, 632 horsepower. Wow. I yeah. mean, it's a Real -wheel beast. Drive. Rear wheel drive. Yeah. And it's probably the most comfortable two door car in the world. Oh, yeah. And for a daily driver, it's epic. Umbrella that you can have. Yeah, the world's most expensive umbrella, which has the logo on it right there as well. No, it's epic. So, what I'm gonna do now is put some um, GoPros up and then we're gonna go for a little drive. Yes. Oh, there goes the door. It's so cool. Electric doors on the Rolls Royce. Ah. Oh. It feels so comfortable. Like you said, it's just the sofa that sofa. you can drive. Ah. So what made you decide to buy this? Because um, I tried all the cars, you know, I had yeah. um, Performante, I had Aventadores. Yeah. I had um, two normal Huracans, Carrera, four GTS, yeah. another one, four GTS. A few pretty cool cars. A lot of cars and uh, sport cars, V10, V12, flat six, a yeah. lot, a lot of cars. Then uh, we can go here? I think yeah. so, yeah, 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 okay. fine. And uh, I was always, always, yeah. but people will uh, put bad comments maybe. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, because I'm, you know, I'm two meters. Yeah, yeah, you're very all tall. All the time, all the time, when I, Go like in the highway or something like that with the uh, like with Aventador or with the other cars. Yeah. Every 100 kilometers, I was. Uh, yeah, you're sore after your back is done. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't have that problem because I'm not too meters. <laughs> but yeah. No, so. and um, and I was until the 2014 uh, when uh, this car will be revealed. Yeah. I was al always. Um, Dreaming this car and saying, "Oh, this car maybe one day, maybe yeah, one yeah, day I want yeah, this yeah. car." And, but uh, I'm young. I want uh, like a uh, new, like uh, most uh, race Recent, cars, yeah. race sports cars, cars, sports cars, super cars. Yeah. And then uh, I had uh, also an S class, a long wheelbase. It was very very comfy. And I say yeah. I want something very super, like unique. Yeah. Um, sport car that you can go fast because. This 632 you horsepower, you can yeah. go very fast. It's V12, yeah. 6.7 liters. Yeah. It's a quick car. Yeah. Uh, and then I say, what? Well, I want to to try to make a uh, Rolls Royce experience. And once and, you uh, try it, then you're addicted. Yeah, I've tried uh, a long time ago. A friend had uh, a Dome. Yeah. I tried a Dome, uh, but it's less power of this one. Yeah. But I don't like the like the total and cabrio you can't and, uh, have this yeah of course yeah that's this uh it's the best of you were saying fourteen thousand euros for this yeah. I mean, and all the Rolls royce uh is different yeah all exactly. the cars have yeah. not the same one yeah i mean it, that's nuts i mean that they make it different on everyone <sighs> uh, yeah it's fast huh? yeah you can feel that there's power uh, you have the flicks yeah the police <laughs> yeah they're ready for us um, but no, I mean it's beautiful in here. You can fit two people very easily in the yeah. back. You can you can travel a lot with this car. Oh yeah, you can, oh, uh, four people. Uh, I want to go like in the cars and coffee with this one. Ah, in Brescia. Yeah, because um, I have a friend in Italy that have the Bugatti Veyron with the yes, Italian I see. plate. Yeah, and his car is black and gray in the middle. My car is uh, black, black in the middle and gray. gray. And we go like a convoy and we start from uh, Tuscany and we go in Brescia. That will be pretty uh, cool. We go together and uh, school car. I, have a, I bring my girlfriend and uh, two one, friends. Yeah, a so, yeah. friend with, uh, with his girlfriend also. Ah, yeah, so it's and perfect. And we go you four people, space. you have a space of luggage that you can go like one month. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you don't need to worry about speed bumps, it's not no. low. It's so quiet in here. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible how how comfortable it is this, this for cruising car, yeah. and stuff. Like, it feels just like this is better than the sofa, you know. Yeah, and all the leathers feel incredible. 
the steering is very light, no? Yeah, it's very yeah, light. And, and also crazy. you can touch here, it's... Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, it's got little uh, indents for your fingers. Yeah, it's fantastic. No, it's really nice. I mean, I'm gonna film on this camera now so that they can see. But the view from in here is absolutely gorgeous. We've also... Let me just do this. this. We've got a little Bentley in front of us. I mean, look at this in here. We've got the black top part and then this sort of tan bottom part of the interior with the wood. And it's very simple, the interior, isn't it? There aren't that many buttons. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, all the technology is uh, BMW. Yeah, 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 because they're owned by BMW. Yeah. And what is it like now? You haven't had it for that long, but driving it every day, it's very easy, usable. Usable, but it's uh, extremely long. Yeah. It's 5 meter 28, 27. So to park it, it's pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. But you finding it pretty nice is it what you expected is it better yeah yeah you yeah. know i i've i've drove this before uh from a friend i, I saw that the, the, i drove the dome i drove the brave yeah and uh i said yeah i want that this is the one yeah the seats are so nice there's loads of space yeah. you don't feel like you're in a small coupe car no, no, no. and overall it's just nice i mean they're very expensive yeah of course very very expensive very cars expensive, yeah. um i mean this is you can what? buy two for two four eight eight. Yeah, you can buy two for. It's more expensive than an Aventador. It's two of four eight eight like this. Yeah, literally stuck together. And uh, the consumption. Oh yeah, the fuel petrol, consumption. It's yeah. It's two four eight eight. Like <gasps> Is it really bad? It's B twelve six point seven liter. It's, uh, yeah. If, I if can we imagine. Push, we do like. Uh, Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it goes. Like you use it one, one day. One two kilometers and for later. Wow, that guy's is like in miles per gallon is like four or it's five like miles my per gallon. With a, with a Bugatti. Wow. Bugatti is, uh, yeah, I, I can imagine it, Bugatti uh, is nuts. Yeah, but Bugatti almost feels like a mix between this and like an Aventador. Yeah. Doesn't it? Because you've got the comfort of this. Yeah, but zero techno uh, technology. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The technology is really bad in it. But right? it's an old car. Yeah. I mean, this now they came out with the new Phantom. Yeah. So then soon there will probably be a new. But for Wraith. the moment, uh, the Wraith is. Uh... They're going to keep making it for a while. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not like Mercedes, you know, Mercedes. Every yeah. three months you have a new. You model. have a new car, and because you now you have a. A, a garage. Yeah, where I you opened it like uh, two, three months ago. Yeah, so three it's called ago. AD Supercars. AD Supercars. Yeah. And so I'll put like the website down below and stuff. But uh, Alice sells some of his personal cars, but also just other cars. Yeah, other cars. I website. have some uh, some cool cars for the moment. Now I have an F12 uh, and um, Bentley. GT3 Air. Yeah, really rare. Carbon. Only 300 and something of those in yeah. the world, yeah. Um, and, uh, boy, I have, I have some Range Rovers and, and things stuff. like that, yeah. Yeah, but uh, because I have a big, big passion, of course. Oh, yeah. And, uh, no, it's very, and we can see that on your Instagram. On Instagram, it's always just different cars. I'm always amazed by how many different cars you're always in and driving, so it's always yeah, new but you content. You know, when I go in Italy, I use this one now because this is like four days I have this car. Yeah. And I need to wait the the plate because I have a yeah. temporary plate for the moment. You know, in Monaco, yeah. when, you, when you get a car, you need to wait. I want to do the personal plate I have. Um, on my leg, the tattoo. Yes, I've seen 93 it. 93 0D. It's like yeah. Bonza 93, like my Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want to put that plate, and uh, I'm waiting for that plate, like in two weeks. I can and then it. you'll have it on here. And does does this car, it gets a lot of attention, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, especially in, I mean, here there's, there's, you see them often, but in Italy and stuff, people must go crazy when they see it. I yeah. think, yeah. But uh, the craziest car that I had, I have already, but not uh, chrome it anymore. Yeah. Um, this guy have a pista. Ah, wow. Okay. Yeah, nice. Um, when I had the RS6 in chrome, chrome, yeah, I was in Turin. Yeah. Torino. Yeah. And I had like 200 people around the car. <sighs> I mean that thing. Any chrome car yeah. gets a lot of attention. A lot. Because you had your chrome C63 and and all that stuff. Yeah, this one I will keep it like that because yeah, it's elegant a elegant car. I don't want to to make some 
yeah, bad yeah, yeah. stuff or rubbing. No, I mean, I think they look really cool, Rolls Royce Wraiths. And I'm very afraid of the cut. Cats yeah, the, people keying the, with the key. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. The cats of the um, when you cut the wrapping. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. When they no, put no. the wrap on, if yeah, they yeah, cut. No, no, no. Yeah, because repainting a car like this, the paint is so expensive. Um, it just doesn't really make sense. Um, no, but I think it's a really cool car. I mean, congratulations to you. I'm really Thank happy you, for you. We've known each other for a very, very long time now. Long time. The first video with you was with uh, my uh, red Huracan. Yeah. Long time ago, which, which was like, many, uh, many years ago. 2015. 2015. I think it's ago. on like a few hundred thousand views now. That video, yeah. So it did well. But no, this is awesome. I think this is my dream daily driver. I think of any car that I could have as a daily driver, this would be the one. So congratulations to you. Thank you. And you know, everyone watching this video, if you wanna go check out the cars he's got for sale, if you're in the area and wanna pick some of those up, go to the website. And also, if you wanna follow Ale on Instagram, there's and uh, really guys, sorry for my English, but uh, no, it was I'm really Italian good. and uh, it was it's really good. difficult. I'm sure they <laughs> they couldn't tell. They couldn't tell. No, but it it was it was fantastic. Thank you. Yeah.